everyone! In this video, we're going to talk about the flag that almost became the Cuban national flag. This is the flag of Cuba. It was officially adopted in 1902, but it was first created in 1848. It was designed by Narciso Lopez with the help of poet Miguel Tuerbetolón. Lopez fought for Cuban independence from Spain and staged a coup in 1850. He used the flag as part of the attempt, but the coup ended in failure. The flag was heavily influenced by that of the United States. Though Lopez wanted Cuban independence from Spain, he wanted Cuba to be part of the United States. Eighteen years after the failed coup, the Ten Years' War began, where once more Cubans fought for independence from Spain. The war was started by Carlos Manuel de Céspedes, who was a plantation owner and whose actions ultimately made him a revolutionary hero. Céspedes had his own flag as part of this war. The flag has a number of names. It's known as the flag of La de Mahagua. La de Mahagua was the name of the sugar plantation that Céspedes owned and was the place where he declared independence. It's also sometimes referred to as the flag of Yara. Yara was a town that Céspedes intended to occupy at the beginning of the war. Some people simply refer to it as the flag of Céspedes. Like the Lopez flag, the Céspedes flag was heavily influenced by the American flag, and it also has a single white star, as well as having blue and red. The flag is very similar to the flag of Chile, which was also based off the U.S. flag. The Ten Years' War ended in 1878, with the result being that the Spanish still maintained rule over Cuba, though it did make some concessions. A year later, the first Constituent Assembly of the Republic of Cuba met, and a discussion took place about the two flags. In the end, the Lopez flag was chosen to represent Cuba, due mostly to the fact that he was the one who took the first steps towards independence. But that wasn't the end of the Céspedes flag. It was decided that the flag would be flown alongside the Lopez flag at the National Assembly. The flag was also chosen as the Naval Jack of Cuba. In our view, the correct decision was made in choosing the Lopez flag. Not only did he take the first steps, we believe his flag is a better design and at the time it was very different from other flags. The Puerto Rican flag looks very similar to the Cuban flag, but the Cuban flag is older and Puerto Rico copied the Lopez design and simply reversed the red and blue colors. Regarding the Céspedes design, the flag of Chile was adopted in 1817, long before the Céspedes flag, and had the flag been chosen to be the Cuban flag, it would have caused a similarity problem with Chile. To sum up, the Céspedes flag was a really good simple design, but its two problems of having a rival flag and being similar to another national flag meant it was relegated to the role of bridesmaid and not the bride of Cuban flags. Still, it's fitting that the flag was chosen as the naval jack and also flown at the National Assembly. These two gestures mean the highly significant historical flag of Céspedes continues to live on to this day. So what do you guys think of the Céspedes flag and the history behind it? Should it have been chosen as the Cuban national flag? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Remember to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Thank you for watching!